Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm very excited about. I've been like itching to start filming this since this package arrived a couple of hours ago. So a shop called John Street Gallery recently reached out to me and offered to send me a box of goodies. So of course I said yes. And a huge reason that I'm really excited to share this with you today is because I feel like there just isn't as many Canadian options for plant shops that ship. Um, as there is in the US. So I really wanted to share another option for all my Canadian subscribers. So I will show you the box. This is what it looks like. They have it labeled live plants. Um, this was shipped to me on last Wednesday and it is Monday. So it has been in the mail for a few days, which is to be expected because I live on Vancouver Island and that's kind of a long ways to go. The shop, John, John Street Gallery is located in Ontario, I believe. So this is extra exciting because I have no idea what they sent me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this box off camera and then we will pull things out and see what I got. Okay, so I just got the box open and this is what it looks like. This is a pretty big box too and it looks like some of these plants are kind of large. So let's just pull the first one out. Oh my gosh, this is so, I've never done like a, an unboxing where it's a surprise. Okay. Oh, we have some soil. Oh my gosh, what is in here? Snake plant maybe? I think this is a flaming sword bromeliad. Oh my gosh, look at how large its flaming sword is. Holy crap. This is a huge plant. Look at how big this bromeliad is. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I don't wanna spill soil. Okay, I am really impressed at how well this plant shipped. Like, it looks pretty good, and this did not get damaged at all. I actually have a flaming sword bromeliad already. Actually, it's Shane. Shane really likes bromeliads. But the one that I got last summer, it's flaming sword thing died, so I cut it off, and it's just never grown again. I thought maybe it would like bloom again in the summer, but it hasn't done anything, so. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. I don't really know a lot about bromeliad care. So if anyone has any tips for this guy, I would love to hear them. But yeah, first plant, a success. Definitely made it here in decent shape. Okay, so this is the second plant that I have pulled out. Very excited to see it. I think it's a succulent. Oh, it says it's an aloe. It looks like he was flowering, but it didn't quite make it. Aw, he's so cute though. I haven't seen an aloe like this before. Okay, let me get him out of the way. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at him. I'm really getting into succulents and like cacti more, so this is cool. And it's funny because my, I had a giant aloe that I've had forever that I honestly neglected and it just recently kind of died um, and I was kind of sad about it. So now I have another aloe and this one's cool. It has like a speckled kind of pattern. Really cute. Okay, this is the third one. I already started ripping into it here. Oh, this is a type of Tratoscantia, I believe. Hopefully. Let me unwrap it and see if it has the name. It doesn't have the name, but I believe this is a type of Tratoscantia. It's really pretty. It honestly has like the same coloring as the Nanook that I hauled for last month for June's haul. It has some dead leaves, but it still looks like it has tons of healthy leaves as well. So I think it'll be okay. It's cute. I feel like the colors aren't really showing on camera that well, but it's really pretty. And then they also sent me another little Something. Oh cute, it's a little cacti tin. I really like that, that's so cute. Okay, so that is going to be it for the unboxing. That was everything that they sent me. If you have any of these plants, please um, let me know and drop your care tips down below. And I will also link um, John Street Gallery's information in the description box if you wanna check them out. They do ship Canada wide. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye.